This video is sponsored by Big Boy Gaming. Follow the link in the description below for all of your card gaming needs. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Edison Club. I'm joined today by Cody Hug, who's going to be showing us his uh, Top Cut Flamvel deck. Thank you, thank you. I'm all right. ready whenever you are. So Let's check it out. With the three fire dogs, it is pretty much the core of the deck. You also have three magicians. <laughs> You can run two, but three has actually been needing. Even if it seems like a break, it's really good. I ran three spy and the descendant. If this deck looks familiar, it is. It's actually the guy who did really well in the ribbit event. So I kind of kept the main deck pretty similar, but I'll still show it anyway. It's gonna be the Super Nimbles with the three Rikos. It's pretty much uh, Flip City. Everywhere is Flip City, so. Uh, luckily there was no knocks, so I was able to resolve all my stuff, so this was really, really good. Uh, more Mills is the car trooper, so I have this plus the mic uh, Mills today were 50-50, but that's okay. It was still a good result. Uh, the one plague, plague is really amazing. And then goes to Caius. Caius might be a card I'm going to take out in the future. I saw it maybe once the entire day. Uh, same thing with Goldstein. It's just very unfortunate that I saw everything except these, even in milling, so it was really weird. That's the monster count. I believe that's 18 monsters. So now we're going to go to the spells. It's the, literally the best card in the entire deck. This card is busted for Kindle. You get to play this and basically secret me on the board to yeah, Thought Ruler, Double Stardust, Dark Game, Colossal. There's nothing better than this. Free soul charge. Two books. Second one's dead. First one was amazing, but it was there for game ones when I needed it. Plus, I was able to uh, uh, book a spy, flipped it, summon another spy. So I used to send it spy, spy to destroy two cards and then get the secret. Yo, this card. Let, let me tell you something about the this. The chalice card. is let so strong. Let me tell you strong. something about this chalice, okay? You can use it in damage step to negate their Rikos, and it boosts your guys, so it makes them even bigger, and it's a quick effect. Like, you need more like breakthrough skill cards, and this is definitely the one. And you can use the damage step, which is fantastic. The Heavy and the MST, the Charge, the Brain, the Minecon. Minecon was bad. I love it, but it's bad. It only took like one frog. <laughs> that was my whole day. People were setting like Rikos and, and stuff, but I never got to steal it, so my con was bad. Uh, I believe that's 11 spells, so for the traps, it's double compulse. Horrible in the machine and matchup. It, it's good, but not that good against that matchup, but everything else was pretty good. Let me tell you something about this card. Okay. Bro, you main deck these? L let me tell you something about this. <laughs> I didn't know this. you were on this main deck. L let me tell you something about these Iron Walls. Stops Deep Prison. Stops Bottomless. Stops Caius. Stops Miracle. Uh, I oh, it. and it stops for Kindling. You get to play with Kindling, play Iron Wall, your dudes stay on the board. So you just, you get a free Reborns out of everything. I can see why Gemini played it. <laughs> Uh, Dust you. I hate this card. <laughs> uh, Mirror Force. Let me tell you something about this Weisberg. Let okay? me tell you about the hardest card to play around I've ever seen. This thing stayed on the board way longer than it should have against me. It's just so hard to navigate around. Doesn't target. So it gets around Titanial. Pops the biggest dude. So if they attack with him, this actually happened in my zombie matchup round one. I got hit by Goblin Zombie because he also had Zombie Master. Flip this. Zombie Master dies, Gore Summon, and I get the mill a Fire Dog and got the Kidding. Very nice. This was, well, <laughs> it's really good. And then my destruction is these. I would consider running multiple Dust Renaeus, but uh, Hero Frog is still out and about, so this is making me wish it wasn't there. And then the one Road. Road is. It's okay. It's not bad, but there are definitely better cards I wish I had because every time I had it, they never did anything. I think I resolved it once in like three tournaments. I don't know why I still play it. 40 in the main. Going on to the extra. 
one Chimera tech. I should have ran two because I replaced it with this Scottums. Nice, the Scottums. So there's only literally, literally only one way to summon the Scottums. It is either one of these and this. Yep. And it has to be specifically uh, Mally Edge or uh, Fortress. I have gotten both of these ready. There was no Fortress. And then when Fortress did come, I didn't have either one. So I couldn't summon this thing. So yeah, don't play Gotham. It's just my second time here tech. Uh, double Colossals. Uh, I never made the second, but it's there. I couldn't think of any really real ones, so it's good. Double Darken. This was also terrible. I never needed the second one. A lot of these doubles I wish I could have made more, but I couldn't. One RDA. Never summoned it, but it was a 3k body. Double Stardust is broken. I might run three. Definitely a deck that Stardust Dragon is very good in, especially if you're using it to protect something like Iron Wall. Oh yeah, this this was. And then I'm gonna run two of this card in my next tournament. This card is broken. Gain life. So there are so many times where I had double rekindling and I end up on this board and or um, like Colossal, and then they just brain con. And now I can just go like, oh okay, I'm just gonna summon two Thought Rulers. Now you literally cannot help them with Econ, Brain Con, or whatever. And it still protects it with its own effect, which is really good. We got a Black Rose that I li literally have no way of summoning. Mario and Goyo. No one else. Save it. And then Catastrophe and Armor. I almost summoned this, never did, and I never summoned that. Bad. Side. I switched up the side from the guys build that played in Ribbit. I thought his side was. It could have been better. Like 10 of the cards were good, the others were bad. Double Sidra. Oh, you gotta like these ultimate rares though. I do. Check these out. I think like in the future I'll probably go to one. It was just this tournament. I knew there was a lot of Machina players because a lot of my local guys went, so I played two. But in the future I'll probably do one. Double Fossil Dino. I hate these gold rares. If I had Superstar <laughs> Secrets, I, I would replace it, but I unfortunately I don't. But this was good because it was still level 4, flip, pop, and I can summon Fire Dog, so it's 1900 plus 1200 to Let me tell you something about this Thunder King Ryo right here. Definitely puts in some work. It's 1900, stops Stratos, stops Charge, stops Ecaw, Rhoda. Stops JD. And Glad Beast surprisingly gets stuck to fucking Gazarus. Yep, can be a problem for them for sure. This card's broken. It's, it's good. Uh, my body. Never got to play it. Let me tell you something about the soul release, okay? Um, I banished a four, three fortresses, a snowman eater, a gear frame, a dandelion, two more gear frames, a debris dragon, and a black rose in one tournament set. You need to play this card. <laughs> Did he name ten cards or not? <laughs> uh, not <his> double <laughs> magical stone excavation. Uh, Second and third Dust Tornadoes. Um, I might replace one with Twister, but Dust Tornadoes still good. Iron Wall, I sighted it in, but I never needed it. Double Mask for the Frog matchups. I might, surprisingly, this is a really broken combo against Amaryllis. They can't Lone Fire anything, they can't DDR anything, and it's, it, they're just like blocked. So it's a real uh, pain in the ass for them to get around. So this is a good tech for people to play against those matchups. These are the last two cards that I replaced. I think it was replacing a Starlight Road and Pro in my side is Transmigration and Depression. My issue was when I played in the last tournament, is Crow didn't do anything, and road, the second road was just clogging the space. So I replaced it with this, which is good against a lot of matchups to just get rid of stuff. And it's really good because I can reshuffle everything I need back if I need it, for whatever reason. So if I lose like a heavy or whatever, it's really good to have it back as like an aggressive power play move. So I really like it. And then one oppression was mainly for the glass piece matchup because I didn't have GB Hunter. <laughs> but Next best thing. It was, but surprisingly, it's still really good against. Uh, I brought it against zombies. I brought this in against. Um, I think it was like a. There was another deck I brought it in. I can't remember, but it was really important when I had it. Um, but these are 
really good cards to have in the side. So. All right, very nice. Well, thank you for sitting down here with me today. Anything you'd like to say before we get out of here? Yes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as this helps motivate Michael Boyd and me, annoying the shit out of him to do more profiles. So always do that, of course. Uh, I want to shout out to Team Hugh. My team, my friends, my family that I love and support that are there with me and helping me. Shout out to you, of course, for not only kicking my ass again, but <laughs> being able to sit down with me and doing this. Shout of out course. to Big Boy Gang for definitely hosting another great tournament. And I'm very happy that he's able to do more. And I'm hoping to do more with him in the future. And as well as, uh, I guess he left, Cameron Saunders. He was here, but he left. But it's good to see him again. I haven't seen him in a few months, so it's always good to catch up with him. But nevertheless, thank you very much for having me here, boy. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.